Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. This is part two of four from my trip to Florida, and this one's gonna focus on the baseball card stores that I hit up on the day that I went to the card show. First, after I landed, I had some extra time, so I went to Big League Cards. Now, you'll have to forgive me, I don't remember the exact location of all of these, but all three of these are all around the Orlando area. And you can see Big League Cards has a huge inventory of unopened boxes and singles as well. So right here, you see a blaster box wall with everything from, I think we, I even saw some boxes from 2017 on the shelves, some 2017 Heritage. They have a bunch of singles there. I went through them for a little bit. And I picked out a couple cards. Which, by the way, I'll show you everything I bought at the end of the video. And I bought some boxes, I bought some singles. We'll rip the boxes open and see what we can find. But here you see they have a bunch of stuff dating back to like 2010 on the shelves. It's pretty awesome to find older stuff like that. Lots of singles as well. So I ended up buying um, a couple boxes here and we'll crack those at the end of the video. And then I went to the second location which was called Game of Cards. And maybe it was, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes away. I can't remember, but Game of Cards is owned by a really cool owner. Actually, probably had the best conversations with this guy. His name was Dan. I guess I didn't get any uh, uh, video of him, but look at his store. Very, very neat and organized. There's all of his unopened hobby and blasters and jumbo boxes. And he had a huge collection of vintage cards. Take a look at all this. And he, had, he has way more. He said he has tons of these at his house. He pulled out a box that he brought from home just filled with stuff from the mid-50s and all of them in really, really good shape. Now, I did make an offer on one of these cards. You might be able to guess which one. I don't, I don't know, but we're a little bit off. So I was like, all right, I'll see if I can go find that card at the card show in a similar condition. And if I can't, I'll come back tomorrow and buy it the next day. So you'll have to see, but I do end up coming back and picking up one of these cards such great conditioned vintage wax cards at this store. I did pick up a mega box there and then I headed out to, I, I can't remember the name of the store. It just says baseball cards at the top. It might be called Orlando Sports Cards or something like that, but it was pretty awesome. I spent a good bit of time here walking around and if you take a look at this place, I kind of struggled a little bit to film the store and not get the people in the store in the video because all right down the middle of the store it's like kind of like a almost like a big hallway there's boxes right in the middle of the store and there's people seated at each box just looking through stuff so I tried to just stay to the sides so I didn't film anybody I don't, didn't want to ask everybody if they wanted to be filmed I just asked the owner if it was okay but you can see there's some boxes here and I picked up a mosaic box it was a mega box because I've never opened those there's one guaranteed autograph the price point was pretty good. It was $50. I think if you buy them in Walmart, they're like 40 some dollars after tax. And now they have $1 boxes here, which you can see a bunch of baseball and they've got your team bags and um, supplies there. A whole bunch of great stuff. I, I don't know, like I couldn't pick up a lot because I flew Spirit Airlines and I went down there with literally just a backpack and a couple 500 count boxes to fill up with cards at the card show. So I, I wasn't gonna buy too much, but um, I am going to have to probably pick up because there's some pretty good prices right now. Take a look at this. You got a 2021 update hobby box for just $80. That's the exact same price that Topps is selling it for on their website. So I was gonna buy this one. And then I saw the archives box sitting there as well. And the archives box was listed at 110, which is also a really good price. That's actually the second best price I've ever seen it. Um, I've been in like six or seven card stores now, and that's a really good price. So I'm looking back and forth, and uh, I decided to go with the archives box. We'll be busting that open along with all the other stuff at the end of this video. Kind of a long one today. Probably will end up being about a half an hour or so. So thank you very much once again, everybody, for watching. Really appreciate that. We'll show you the, uh, all the other inventory they have here. Now, these boxes here, man, look at all these 5,000 count boxes going right down the line. Filled up with sleeved cards. They are all sorted by team. So if you like the Brewers, for example, you can go find the Brewers and pick out, you know, whoever you're looking for, Corbin Burns, rookie cards or whatnot. They've got some junk wax. What would be a good card store without some junk wax boxes and also some junk wax packs? You know, if you have some kiddos with you, you might want to grab them a pack. 50 cents is a pretty good deal for junk wax packs nowadays. And there was some... 
you know, some nice ones in there. I saw some 1992 tops, which wasn't that bad. A lot of 1990 Fleer and also 1990 Donruss. A little bit of 89 tops. There's some tops big, which I almost bought that. It's been a long time since I've opened 89 tops big. They've got a bunch of singles in the showcases here as well. We'll give you a quick look at these. They got some autographs, they got some relics, they've got some rookie cards, uh, and just a whole bunch of other stuff behind the counter as well. So a ton, a ton of inventory at the store. Um, if you're in the Orlando area, you've got multiple choices. So if you're down there for Disney World or whatever, try to hit some of these stores up. Might as well, right? And see what you can find. Here's all their packs. A uh, nice little pack wall, but we're now going to open up what I picked up at the card stores. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy this baseball card video and also the opening. And hit that subscribe button. Now let's go and open these up. All right, everybody, I am back from the card stores. Picked up a lot of stuff. Went to three card stores today on my way out to the Orlando card show. I got into town uh, five, six hours early, so I had tons of time to go to Walmart's, Target's, and card stores. So Walmarts and Targets will be in their own video and the card stores get their own videos. Otherwise, it would be like an hour long video. We'll just split it up a little bit. So we've got our sponsor for the day, which again, I'm here in my hotel room and I don't have a piece of paper or a pen here. For whatever reason, the Doubletree didn't decide to provide that unless it's hidden away somewhere. But our sponsor is Rob Griffin. Rob, thank you very much. Rob's gonna get the contents of these three boxes. We have an archives box, which is one 10 plus tax. This was 50 plus tax, which I think they're probably about 40 maybe in store, I would imagine. I haven't seen these or purchased these yet. So uh, we got 160 there. And then this Bowman Chrome box, which usually goes for like $80 in card stores. It's $40 at Walmart, but I paid 55 plus tax at Game of Cards. So we'll go ahead and check out what we've got. Also, by the way, I've got some for myself here. These, I don't know, these might be complete trash. They might be awesome. I have no idea, but these are for myself. These are from Big League Cards. Now, we'll open it all up right now. Let's go ahead and start off with Mosaic because there's a guaranteed autograph. We might as well start off with that, right? Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Again, I apologize. I have to use my car keys to rip the box open because my box cutter is at home and you can't take those on planes. All right, so we've got our mosaic box underway. Now this is the first time we've ever done a mosaic um, mega box on the channel. You can see there's one guaranteed autograph in here. 80 total cards. Might honestly be a better buy than the uh, hobby box. Hobby boxes are kinda, I don't know, kinda rough. What do you get in the hobby box? Is it two autos or three autos? I can't remember, but there's not a lot of numbered cards. Almost probably the same amount of cards. I think the hobby boxes have 12 packs or so. All right, so here's our bonus packs, which we'll save those for last. Those bonus packs, uh, I'm not sure. I guess they are eight reactive blue and eight reactive red parallels, which, you know, they're, they're not going to be numbered, but they might be kind of cool to look at. All right, let's do it. Since we've got a lot to go through, we're super ripping style this. Hopefully everyone has had a very good day today, and I thank you all for tuning in day in and day out. Figured this weekend I would come down to, to Florida and get away from it all and uh, make some videos for you guys as well. All right, let's see what we've got in our first stack. Michael Conforto. Now, I'm not a big fan of the base design of this. I think it's rather boring, but... Um, it is what it is. There's a lot of lights around me right now, so sorry if there's any kind of glare. <laughs> I'm, uh, I was trying to do the best I could with my hotel setup here, so I moved pretty much every lamp like right on top of me. There's a, is that a green possibly? It is a big fly, max distance. Bryce Harper, your most valuable player. It's not numbered though. We've got Dom Smith, Sonny Gray. Looking for the autograph. Cedric Mullins, 30-30 guy is a good card. Jake Cronenworth, rookie card. But what else? We've got Freddie Freeman, Noah Syndergaard, who's now with the Angels. There's Josh Bell, Bell Al Kaline. By the way, I, I filmed a video today. I don't know if it's going to go on the main channel or, or maybe I'm leaning towards Patreon only. I bought a blaster box for myself and opened it literally on the beach, like amongst like all the, the waves and everything, like in the sand. It's kind of interesting. There's Davey Garcia. It is the Scripps autograph right there. So Davey Garcia is going to be the autograph. Not a terrible one. He's got some pretty good stuff. Great strikeout potential. There's Garrett Cole, runner-up for the Cy Young Award to Robbie Ray. And it looks like we've 
finally might have a numbered card. Maybe, maybe not. That's a nice looking Roger Clemens card though, an ace card. I kind of like that, that's cool. The aces insert set, it is numbered out of 99. And we have a, looks like Sixto Sanchez debut blue, which is not numbered. We've got a couple more packs here, let's check them out. Probably after this, we'll go to the Bowman Chrome box and check that out. I got an archives box as well. And then we've got these mystery boxes from Big League. About a thousand cards. Now I've got a conundrum here because I'm shipping all this stuff back to myself. Um, if the cards are just junk wax, like if it's like 89 tops and 90 Don Rust and stuff like that, I'm probably just going to leave them at the card show on a table for somebody to take for free. And if they, um, because honestly, why would I ship those back and pay probably weighs like four pounds, an extra $10, $15 for shipping because of uh, the weight of some um, quote unquote junk wax. I'd rather just have someone take them for free. There's an Aces Shane Bieber card. So we'll see what's going to come of this, of these mystery boxes that I picked up. They were only $5.99 a piece, so you can't imagine there'd be anything too crazy in there, but you never know. Let's do the bonus packs now, looking for the special mosaic reactive blues and mosaic reds. Nice looking cards. Nick Select, Ken Griffey Jr., that's a cool card right there. Pete Alonso, be looking for some of his rookie cards at the next card show I'm at. I picked some up at the Orlando card show. I'm going to do another card show today um, in a little bit. Figured I would just film this video, crank this out so there's less to take back home. I flew Spirit Airlines, so... Um, as you know, with Spirit, you're pretty much not allowed to take anything unless you pay for it. And I don't feel like, I, I forget, it's ridiculous. It's like $50 or something like that to just carry on a, an extra bag beyond your personal item. So I'm just going to ship it back for probably about 20 All right, next we've got our Bowman Chrome box. Rob, again, thank you very much again. Let's see what we can find for you in here. Bowman Chrome, a very awesome product. Love this product. By the way, this one came from Game of Cards, which I didn't get a big league... Um, card, but I do have Game of Cards. If you'd like to check out Game of Cards, this guy is really cool, by the way. Like, I, I, I felt like there was a whole bunch of people in the store, and he really interacted and talked with everybody. Uh, Game of Cards, tons of stuff there. If you like Pokemon, half the store is Pokemon. If you love sports cards, half the store is sports cards. He's got, by his uh, estimation, the largest collection of vintage in the entire state. And his vintage is in great, great shape. Now, they're not all in store, but he has some of the best ones in the store, as you saw from all those Hall of Famers in his showcase. So here we go with our Bowman Chrome box. We'll start off by doing the regular packs first, and then we'll get into those Mega Box Mojo packs. That's where the good stuff will lie. All right, let's see what we've got. There's Glaber Day. These are nice cards. Love the look of Bowman Chrome. There's Acuna Jr., Taylor Trammell, rookie card, Glaber Day, Mike Gostremski, there's Jose Abreu and Ronald Acuna Jr., another Taylor Trammell, Christian Javier is a nice one, Key Brian Hayes, arguably your best rookie so far, Jazz Chisholm, a pretty good one as well, got a couple Christian Javiers, another Key Brian Hayes, wow, the collation of this box has been terrible, <laughs> but uh, at least you got two Key Brian Hayes out of it, Kyle Lewis, former rookie of the year, Jesus Lusardo, and Jorge Soler, your most valuable player in the World Series. Let's check these out now and see what we've got. Hopefully there's some good stuff. Chance at an autograph in here. Marco Luciano is a nice one. We've got a Justin Foscu, a Dawn of Glory, Spencer Torkelson, not too shabby. Milcar Perez first and Max Meyer, who was, I think, the number three overall pick in the 2020 draft. That's a good one. Last pack up. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic out of this box. And look, look at this. We do. We do indeed. It is going to be a redemption for you, Rob. It is a mega chrome autograph of Ismail Mania. I don't know much about him from the Chicago Cubs, but still cool to get a hit. So we've got one autograph, Blaze Jordan and Michael Toglia. Very, very nice stuff. We're going to move on now to the archives box. We're going to have some more autographs coming your way, Rob. There are two autographs in this box. One tends a very good price on this box. Um, the cheapest I've ever seen it at any card store was 108, and that was a Juniata card. He basically sells his cards for maybe honestly like a dollar or two profit above what he paid for them. 
So a great price on this box. We've got this poster here of the Killer Bees, Bagel and Biggio. And let's pull out your packs and see what we can find. I'll team bag all your cards up here, Rob. I gotta ship them back to myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna have enough room on the airplane or in my bag to take take much of anything back. I did spend $1,000 last night at the card show. And uh, I think if I can, I'd like to take those cards with me, if I can put them in my bag. I'll probably ship back my clothes and everything, just um, try to clear as much room in my book bag as possible. The clothes will kind of be like the packing peanuts, so to speak, of the package, keep everything kind of in place. Alrighty. Let's see what we can find for Rob in this archives box. Key Brian Hayes to start off is a good sign. Just opened. Oh, look at this. Paula Duke is going to start us off. A rookie, not a rookie, sorry, an 82 um, autograph of Paula Duke. I got really excited there because for a second there, I thought I was opening a blaster box by the beach again. I, I was uh, opening a blaster box for myself by the beach, and um, it was really, really fun. Um, luckily I didn't get any weird looks because I was literally, I got up at sunrise. I was literally the only person on the beach for miles in any direction that I could tell. There's a kill Badoo. There's Andrew Von Rickyard. Almost got wiped out by a big wave at the end. So that, that'll be kind of interesting for you guys to check out. There's Ian Anderson rookie card and Will Craig. He was not that good at defense. That's for sure. He was involved in that bonehead play where, uh, Javi Baez, Got in a rundown between home and first. Basically allowed a runner from second to score on it when there was two outs in the inning with a, like a ground ball in the infield. It was a crazy play. Will Craig was the Pirates' number one overall draft pick years ago, maybe in 2016 or 2015. I can't remember. He was a big power bat in college, and I was like, wow, Will Craig, that's a, that's a good pick. Have some nice power coming our way, but just... Hasn't worked out for him yet. We'll see. All right, next stack. Then we've got these mystery packs to do for myself. I also picked up a couple singles. Hopefully, they're going to be good. We shall see. There's Garrett Cole. One more autograph coming. There's Christian Pache, Trevor Rogers, Clayton Kershaw. Daz Cameron rookie card. Kyle Eastbell rookie card, by the way. That's one to keep an eye on as a possible up-and-comer from the rookie cards that you can pull in 2021. A lot of Royals fans are really, really big on him. And now we have this is a great card. Don Mattingly Red. If we take a look at the back, it's going to be numbered out of just 50. 11 out of 50. So that's a nice-looking card right there. 2011 Topps design. Gotta love that one. Christy Mathewson. You don't see his cards too often anymore. Uh, he played way back. When, when was he playing? Like the teens and the 20s, I think. Definitely before the times of Babe Ruth, the turn of the century type guy. Yeah, 1900 to 1916. Hall of Famer right there. And back then, basically they pitched um, complete games every game. You can see all those super high innings counts. Basically, you started what you finished back then, and man, that is a lost art. We might see, I wonder if we ever see a season where there's less than 10 complete games in the entire season. Now, obviously, this past year, there was at least 10 because of all those no-hitters we had. There's a kill to do, but even when I, when I was a kid in the 80s, pitchers were still throwing like 10 to 12 complete games every year. Um, back then, it seemed like the bullpen was maybe like four or five guys. Now it's like half the team, half the active roster are bullpen guys as the game has become much more specialized. Just look to the playoffs this past year. A lot of playoff teams would use their starter for just a handful of innings, if that, like two innings, and then they just turn it over the bullpen and just match up. I don't know. I kind of like the old school game better. But... That's just me. Baseball is slowly changing. You got um, the DH likely coming into both leagues next year if they can reach an agreement. I mean, both leagues want it. And it's better for player health. There's Casey Mize. You won't have players like Jimmy Nelson ruining his career by running the bases and messing up his shoulder. There's Jake Cronenworth rookie card as well. But the downside is it eliminates so much so much strategy in the final innings of a game when you have to 
pinch hit and double switch and all that stuff. That's why a lot of people, especially folks in National League cities, think that the National League game is just a better brand of baseball than the American League. The American League is basically sit back, relax, and wait for a dinger. But the players want the DH because if you think about it, it's more jobs for the position players. Jake Cronenworth and Logan Gilbert. Guys like Albert Pujols will be able to twice as likely to find a home. Nelly Cruz, these guys getting older that can only basically play defense. Or not defense, offense. They can't play defense. Sorry. We'll be able to still stick with the team. All right, Rob, here's your last stack. Then we'll check out the um, the mystery stuff and see if there's anything good in there. Which there might be. You never know. Mystery stuff is all mine. Big League is mine. Rob has the three boxes. Let's see what we can find. Ah, oh, there's Brooks Robinson. Jazz Chisholm. We've got an Eddie Rosario with a green border right there. Kind of a cool card. Let's see if it's numbered. It is out of 125. So Eddie Rosario, 62 green. Uh, I'm glad they decided to leave the wood grain border and not make that whole thing green. That would have just looked weird. One more autograph should be coming up any time now. We already got the Paul LaDuca. Autograph number two, imminent. And there it is, Julio Franco, who played almost until age 50. He may have even played it uh, at age 50 in some kind of independent league or uh, foreign league, but that's a nice one right there. Julio Franco would have had 3,000 hits if he didn't lose a couple years of his career going over to Japan. You can see in uh, 1998, 99, and 2000, three years he was gone from the big leagues. And it, he was only 420, some 414 hits away from 3,000. May have had a good shot at it um, if he would have stayed in the game for the long run there. So nice one right there, Julio Franco. And um, they don't have his entire career here either. I guess they couldn't fit it. It starts at 88, but I can assure you that his rookie card was not 87 tops. Julio Franco, nice one right there for sure. Played forever. Um, there's Uncle Larry, Luis Garcia, Rafael Devers, and David Peterson is the last one there as well. All right, next up, let's go ahead and find what we've got going on in this, these mystery packs. Now, I did buy these silver mystery packs, which... I think he said I have a random pack and maybe a, a, a top-loaded or graded card. I've got some singles as well. But let's check out these baseball bargain bins first. Was this a good buy? I do see some sleeved cards. I don't see a whole bunch of, like, a 91 Fleer Yellow, which is good. All right. here. Oh, there's newer cards in here. Nice. Brian Reynolds, Kevin Newman. Brian Reynolds, by the way, was a top-10 finisher for the MVP. Adam Wainwright. Ryan Braun, so some nice ones in here. This isn't complete junk. Uh, I like it. Todd Helton, who might be a Hall of Famer someday. Albert Pujols. Um, already by this little stack, I am more than happy. Clayton Kershaw. And these are nice Bowman Chrome cards, too, from the year 2010. Shinsu Chu. So if you're in the um, Orlando area and you want to check out big league cards, I didn't grab a business card for them, but... They had a bunch of these on their shelves. This might be a good buy, Matt Kemp. There's a Cal Ripken Jr. Elite card in there, which is not too shabby, like that one a lot. Miguel Cabrera, Randy Johnson. So it's not even commons in here. I mean, yeah, there's some commons in here, obviously. There's Dave Winfield. Um, but there's a nice mixture of uh, some stars, semi-stars, and Hall of Famers in here as well. There's Joey Votto. These are Diamond Kings from, like, when was it, 2017? Yep, 2017 Diamond Kings. Piscotti, Garrett Cole, Johnny Pesky. Let's see what else we've got. There's a Dansby season ticket card. That's from 2017. That's his rookie year, which is a very nice one. Um, Frank Howard. I was never a fan of these... Um, season ticket style cards. I always thought they were just so ugly the design. Got some nice Allen and Ginter here for you Allen and Ginter fans. Her mom Marquez rookie card. I'll take that one. Mark Melanson. Let's see what else we've got. Warren Spawn. John Lester. Andrew McCutcheon. Nice one right there. 
All-star card, Kutch, Marcel Ozuna, Alex Cobb, Adam Wainwright, Jonathan Lucroy. We've got Goldie, a finest of David Wright. That's a cool looking finest design. What year is this? 2014 Topps Finest. I've never opened a box of these. Justin Verlander. I guess I'm going to have to find ones. They're probably super tough to come by now as you know, not a lot of boxes of 2014 are left, and especially stuff like Finest. There's Ted Williams. Hey, Ken Griffey Jr., Rod Carew. We've got Jose Reyes and Albert Pujols. Very nice. That's a turn back the clock card. It's not an original. It's still a cool looking card, though. All right, next up, Troy Tulowitzki. Got a heritage card there. There's a nice Paul Goldsmith. Ken Griffey Jr. with the Reds. Nice one. Ryan Howard. Sometimes with some of these uh, older designs, I'm like, is this an archives card? Is this a card your mom threw out? I don't even know. Is it a heritage card? They're reusing so many of these designs over and over again. Sometimes it gets a little tricky to know, so you got to flip the card over. we got some 2008 Topps cards here as well. Eric Gagne, Jared Parker. What else do we have here? Um, there's some nice upper deck cards, masterpieces, some good ones. David Ortiz, Manny Ramirez. Got a Jim Palmer right there. Joe Nathan was lights out. So overall, folks, I think this was a good buy. Now, I've got two boxes just because I want to get out of here soon to get out to the card show. I don't want to get there late. I'd like to be there just after they open. The second box is going to be, uh, we'll probably do that as a Patreon-only video. There's Pujols. I have a few Pujols in here. So the second mystery box of 500 cards, since it's probably going to take me five to ten minutes to go through, that's Patreon only, so make sure you check us out on Patreon. It's $4.99 to support the channel and get access to all of our breaks. And also, you get some exclusive content from time to time. Videos you can only see there. There's Pete Alonso. Nice one. A bunch of prism cards right here. It's about a $35 worth of a blaster. We've got some Roger Clemens cards. Nice. George Brett. Nolan Ryan, so they put in a nice run of all the, man, well, if I ever want to make up a lot of Nolan Ryan, my work is done for me, and uh, George Brett cards, these are cards you maybe usually find in like a 25 or 50 cent box at a card show, so that's not a, not a bad deal at all, so big league cards, big, uh, big thumbs up to you, and no, I didn't look in these before um, I bought them, Frank Thomas, I just took them off the shelf and this is honestly the first time I've ever opened these. Hey, A-Rod, that's a nice one right there. 94 A-Rod, another A-Rod. I just picked up these cards at the card show. I paid way more than a penny for them, which is basically what I'm paying now. Those are some good cards. Ozzy Smith, Barry Bonds, George Brett. Just a ton of good stuff here. Now it looks like we're back to the commons of the box. Go through these. You see there's Manny Gold. Matt Kemp Gold, we've got some Alan Ginter, and well, Tyler Glass now rookie card, very nice. That's a card I would definitely buy at a card show if I'd seen it. Glass now, of course, was hurt, but um, man, does he have some high upside? You see what he can do when he's healthy. The Rays really kind of got him on the right track. There's a Jock Peterson second year card right there. Wow, a miscut Porcello. We got some miscuts here, guys. Don't see those too often. Yvonne Rodriguez. What else do we have? Jordan Zimmerman. He's, uh, I guess, retired now. We've got some 2017 Gypsy Queen Bogarts. David Price. And uh, this last stack here will wrap it up. Then we'll get to those silver mystery packs. There's Larry Tavares. Pink in the Park Night. That's an interesting card right there. These are from uh, Tom's Pro Debut. We'll see if we have any big names here. Josh Stamont's got crazy good stuff. He's in the big leagues now. Will Craig, of course, in the big leagues. Frank Thomas. Neon Dion Sanders, a bunch of his cards. At least a few of them. Nolan Ryan, George Brett. We're back with some, wow, Griffey Juniors, Ozzy Smith. What a great deal. I am very, very happy that I picked this box up. Um, honestly, for $5.99, I was expecting probably crap, and I was not going to, I was honestly just going to leave this box on the table at a card show, and so I wouldn't have to ship them all back to myself, but there's no way that I'm not taking these cards home, folks. These are some nice ones. Um, honestly, like half the box is commons, and half the box are decent cards that you might find, like I said, a quarter box or a 50 cent box. So the second box I'll open 
It'll be a Patreon-only video. I have no idea what's in there. I don't want this video to be like an hour long because there's a ton of good stuff in here. we got to wrap things up. With Big League, I picked up some singles. I got a Bo Bichette Prism Blue for five. I've got a rookie card for three, which is a steal, and a Vladdy Jr. rookie for five. So those were steals. Couldn't pass up on those. I'm always buying rookies. And we've got these mystery packs. They were $7.99 a piece. I think it was 15 for two. And we have an autograph, a pack, and there's an Oscar Mercado auto. We've got a dollar store pack right there and a Tony Romo Golden Arms. I don't know if that's a good card or not. I do know Tony Romo is a very established and great football announcer now. Yeah, let's check out the other pack, then we'll see what else is going on. Oh, that stinks. It's a 91 Donruss pack. Um, we've got AJ Derby. We've got a Donruss pack and a... Jalen Rigor. So those, I would say those mystery packs weren't worth it, but the $5.99 were. I don't know if you really care to see what's in these. 91 Donruss. Can't really pull anything in here. We'll just maybe see if we can find the Griffey who's in Series 1. He's not in there. We'll check out our dollar pack here. And then we'll get on out of here. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to tap that notification bell if you're not already following the channel with notifications on. And don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you aboard. And Jim Rice is the final card of the video. So that'll do it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this card store video. Thank you to Rob for sponsoring this video. We got big league cards. We got game of cards. And we've got Orlando sports cards as well so a bunch of great spots to check out if you're in the area maybe if you head down here to disney world or whatnot so have a great rest of your day everybody thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all later good night everybody